And now we're going to talk about being baptized because baptism is the pledge of a good conscience toward God. In addition to the Bible saying to, the second reason you should be baptized is as a pledge of a good conscience toward God. The world, the flesh, and the devil work to defile our consciences. Has your conscience been made dull or even begun to be seared? Are you no longer deeply troubled by actions you used to know were sinful? Do you rush across boundaries that used to serve as effective guardrails? Is it drugs? Is it porn? Is it stealing? Dishonesty? Gossip? Would you like to follow Jesus through trust and surrender, but you fear that your conscience cannot be restored because you run roughshod right over it so many times? God explains in Hebrews that the sacrifices under the law of Moses were unable to cleanse the conscience of the worshiper. God goes on to explain that the blood of Jesus, our Messiah, who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to God, will cleanse our consciences from acts that lead to death so that we may serve the living God. In Hebrews, God tells us that we can have confidence to enter the most holy place. That's the very presence of God by the blood of Jesus. We can draw near to God with a sincere heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts cleansed from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. In 1 Peter, the Holy Spirit explains, for our Messiah died for sins, once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous to bring you to God. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit, through whom he also went and preached to the spirits in prison, who disobeyed long ago, when God waited patiently in the days of Noah, while the ark was being built. The Holy Spirit explains further. In the ark, only a few people, eight and all, were saved through water. And this water symbolizes baptism that now saves you also. Not the removal of dirt from the body, but the pledge of a good conscience toward God. It saves you by the resurrection of Jesus Christ who has gone into heaven and is at God's right hand with angels, authorities, and powers in submission to him. And now, what are you waiting for? Get up, be baptized, and wash your sins away, calling on his name. Praise the Lord Jesus, I'm Dr. Courtney. And now we have another offer a free jam this is low quat peach jam homemade it's great stuff and it's free for you all you have to do is ask a sincere question about following jesus and if you might not have a sincere question then i can ask you a question and you can also score the low quat peach jam or the blueberry peach jam praise the lord jesus i'm dr courtney jesus professor Shame. 
Ground. 